what is Duchenne muscular dystrophy and what that kind of maybe means for our boys, Mason and Jack, which are five and two, and maybe answer any questions that you may have uh, around just how complex this muscular dystrophy is and just shed some light on what everything is. I just put together kind of our own research and that we've done throughout the last few months and I just put it together. Um, this is all from online research through PPMD and Cure Duchenne and whatnot. So it's not my own words. I just put it put it together for you guys. And, and what we've dealt with though too. Right. So this is based on what we've learned. If there's any misinformation or facts that are left out, please comment below if you're knowledgeable on the complexity of this disease. And if you have any more questions, if we left anything out. So we just wanted this to be a good video for our friends and family who um, may still be confused or any newly diagnosed families that could just give you a, a quick definition of what um, this disease is. So I'm going to go ahead and read it straight from my notes um, because I don't trust myself to memorize it. So, so what is Duchenne? Duchenne is a severe form of muscular dystrophy caused by a genetic defect that primarily affects boys. It is an inherited disease of progressive muscular weakness. It is one of the most severe forms of all muscular dystrophies. Duchenne affects boys and occurs in one in 35 to 5,000 newborns. It is a multi-systematic condition which results in the deterioration of the skeletal heart and lung muscles. Duchenne is caused by a change in the dystorphin gene. Muscles need the dystorphin protein to work properly. Without dystorphin, muscles are not able to function or repair themselves properly. Since the dystorphin gene is found on the X chromosome, it primarily affects males while females are typically carriers, although some females can manifest physical symptoms of Duchenne. The gene that makes this protein is mutated, so it can't produce enough dystorphin needed for the muscles to work properly, so they gradually get weaker. The reason females are typically carriers is because the mutation is on one of our two copies of the dystorphin gene, since they have two X chromosomes versus one like males. So female carriers can ha make enough dystorphin with her two copies. As of today, the lifespan with people with Duchenne are living into their early 30s and wheelchair bound typically in the early teens. Boys are typically diagnosed between ages four and six with symptoms like delays in early development, such as sitting, walking, and speech. They typically cannot keep up with their peers. Most common ways of a diagnosis is a genetic test or CK blood levels are extremely elevated. CK is a protein that normally stays in the muscle cells. When DMD damages the muscle cells, they release a lot of CK in the blood. So this is how Mason and Jack um, started their diagnosis process. Um, Mason had um, abnormal blood tests, which um, then they tested the CK and that was... 48,000, I think around the first time. And yeah. then I think it was around like mid 60,000, 65,000 his second time mm -hmm. because they wanted to double check to see if it was a fluke or if he was sick or anything like that. Right. And then when his genetic test came back positive, we just tested Jack out of precaution. And once we saw his CK levels in the 30,000s, we just knew right away that he had it too, unfortunately. So although DMD often runs in families, it is possible for a family with no history to suddenly have a son with the disease. Sometimes there's just a mu random mutation of the gene which is what happened with us and our family, with me being, being that random mutation. Um, when I was born, I became a, I was a carrier and that's how I passed it down to them. So the dystorphin gene is the largest known human gene in the body, which is why it is so hard to cure. There are 79 exons that make up the dystorphin gene. So here is the 79 exons that go into the dystorphin gene. So as you can see, they fit together like a perfect puzzle. So with it 100% intact, it allows the body to produce that dystorphin. And to pause, there are hundreds of different variants, mutations of this dystorphin gene further than just a deletion or duplication. Um, there could be one deletion or 15 exon deletions. It, it just depends case by case, boy, boy by boy. And we will be using Mason and Jack's deletion as kind of an example. So when there is a mutation, deletion, or duplication on any of these exons, the body won't produce that dystorphin, more or less. So in Mason and Jack's case, they have every single exon besides number 50. 
so their body has a deletion of 50. So if you can see by not having 50, 49 and 50 don't come together like a perfect puzzle. 51. 51. 49 and 51 doesn't come together like a perfect puzzle. Therefore, their bodies don't produce that dystorphin at all because of this one mutation. One treatment available for exon skipping means the treatment will delete 51. Therefore, 49 and 52 come together. And by doing that, it allows the body to produce a micro dystorphin because it's not a full 100% puzzle, but they found a way to bring these two exons together to fit so it produces a micro version. Because there are two options as far as treatment, uh, exon deletion, and then just what Mason went through through a levitus. So that might kind of maybe explain that uh, a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. um, and there's different exon skipping treatments personalized to someone's certain du duplication or deletion. Uh, Mason and Jack's mutation is one of the most common, so they do have multiple treatments like a Levitus um, and exon skipping that Jack could start doing essentially. So, and we hope this definition helps. Um, like I said, comment if you have any questions or any information to add. We would love that, and uh, we we've been really enjoying helping. And yeah, yeah. My deer poop. Did you eat some deer poop? No. Nope. Okay. Jack almost did. so much faster. Do you feel faster? Good. Tell me a joke. Why are you kicking across the road? Why? Because he got squished by a car and I ate him. <laughs> <laughs> he got squished by a car and you ate him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Jack wants to get over that gate. Jack, you don't want to get lost. <laughs> what else? No. What the? Whoa! Who left that door open? Man. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's mom's phone. <laughs>